Hey everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to my channel, Lo Without Limits. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make five different gluten-free and dairy-free waffles. So if you wanna see that, then just keep watching. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to make five different gluten-free and dairy-free waffles. And what I'll be using is this little Dash waffle maker. I got it on Amazon for $10. They also sell it at Target, I believe, for the same price. But on Amazon, they have so many more fun colors, just like this teal one that I got. So I personally love it from there, but if you just wanna get it at Target, that works too. So I got my waffle maker ready. It turns on once you plug it in, so I currently have it unplugged. I got my coffee, so I can have a beautiful, well-rounded breakfast and I'm ready to go. So the first one that we're going to do is a sweet potato waffle. Yes, two of my favorite things in one, sweet potato and waffle. I'm also gonna add cinnamon, because I love some cinnamon. So let's get ready for it. For this one, I've spiralized some sweet potato. I used not a super tiny blade, but a pretty thin one. So these are some pretty small little spirals that we have here, and obviously they're raw. So not looking the best right now. So I'm just going to heat up the stove and I'm going to saute the sweet potatoes with some olive oil on the stove really quickly. And at that point, I'm gonna add in some salt and some cinnamon just until they get nice and wilted. So that's step one for the sweet potato waffles. Since I have a very small waffle maker, it makes little mini waffles, I'm just gonna add a few in and break it up a little bit. That way they aren't super, super long noodles. And I'm just gonna let them break down and get really, really soft in this olive oil. And as they do that, I'm going to add in a bit of just sea salt and a lot, or a good amount, of cinnamon. You can also do this with like a pumpkin spice or just like a nutmeg, whatever spice, spices you really like, do that. So this is now what the sweet potato looks like. As you can see, there's just some cinnamon all over and they are nice and wilted. So I'm gonna take these out of the pan and let them cool for just a few minutes. Okay, and as the sweet potato finishes cooling, I'm just going to plug in the waffle iron. So you know it's on when the little blue light goes on and just give it a few minutes to warm up. And while it's warming up, I'm going to crack one egg into my sweet potato. And doing this will just make sure that all of the sweet potato pieces stick together when they're in the waffle iron. Okay, and now that the waffle iron is pretty hot, it's gonna open it up there. And I like to use olive oil spray just because it does spray everywhere, but it makes a little bit less of a mess than it would you would if you were just like pouring olive oil on there. Um, and then this also just uses a little bit less. I'm just going to use my fork to scoop it out. I'm going to slowly close the little off iron and then let it cook for just a few minutes. And then after that, you will have a sweet potato waffle. Now, after a few minutes, you'll see that the waffle iron has raised a little bit, so you can just lift it up to see how it's doing. I would give it just a few more minutes, All right? That looks good to me. I'm just going to pop it out and put it onto a plate. Look at this. So good, so fluffy, so sweet potato-y. Mmm, it smells like cinnamon. And this is delicious with even more cinnamon on top or some maple syrup. So that is how you make a sweet potato waffle. So the next waffle that we are going to make is just a classic banana oatmeal waffle. So for this, to make sure that it's gluten-free, be sure to have gluten-free oatmeal. And to make sure that the oats and the banana get all mixed up, 
I'm going to use my Nutribullet. So in the Nutribullet, I'm going to add just half a cup of some gluten-free oats. These I usually get from either Trader Joe's or Bob's Red Mill. Throw those in there. I'm going to add in one banana. So these work really well, or a lot of gluten-free pancakes work really well if you have some pretty ripe bananas. So this one back here feels pretty good. And then just put the entire banana in. Going to add in one egg. I'm going to add in a little bit of just baking powder and a pinch of salt. Screw it in there nice and tight and then just blend it up. So if you don't have a Nutribullet, then you can just use whatever blender you have. Okay, now that it's pretty much all mixed up in here, some of the oats didn't get blended, but that's fine. And it should be a nice, battery texture. If it seems too thick or if your banana wasn't ripe enough so it didn't like blend super well, then maybe just add in like a little splash of almond milk or if it's too thin, then maybe do a little bit more banana or a bit more oat just so it does have this nice creamy texture. Waffle iron's hot. Another little spray. Pour in the batter. In this mixture of the one banana, one egg, half a cup of oats, will probably make me two of the mini waffles. If you have a regular size waffle maker, it'll probably make you one. So if you want two regular size ones, then just double the amount of everything that you put in. So it'd be one cup of gluten-free oats, two bananas, two eggs, and still just a little bit of baking powder and a little bit of salt. And once this one's all ready, again, just take it off the iron. It's nice and crispy. And there you have it. A nice, just simple banana oat waffle. And again, this is good with berries on top if you want to put honey or maple syrup anything really since it is just such a simple taste just the banana and oats nothing super overpowering so you can top it however you want and now this next one mm, it is a pumpkin protein waffle yes pumpkin and protein into a waffle so let me show you how to do it again i'm going to blend this all up in my nutribullet just to be a little bit easier get another ripe banana this one. I'm going to put the whole banana into the Nutribullet as well as two whole eggs and one egg white. Oh shit. The whole egg made it in. There we go. Got it out. So this is all I have in the Nutribullet thing. I'm just gonna blend it up. So now we have the banana and eggs. And into that, I'm going to mix in a little less than a cup of almond flour. Again, almond flour to make sure that it is gluten-free. I'm gonna do this over my sink. I don't trust myself. Thank God I did it over my sink because I made a mess of it everywhere. Just really struggling today. Now, to make it a protein waffle, add in a scoop of your favorite protein. To make sure that it's dairy free, I'm using Women's Best Vegan Vanilla. I love this one. Not sponsored, but like, you can if you want to. Again, a little bit of baking powder. some cinnamon, and I'm sure you're thinking, Lauren, yeah, there's protein and there's pancake, or there's waffle, but where is the pumpkin? Do not fear, canned pumpkin is here. Just some organic pumpkin from Sprouts. They're about two nice globby tablespoons of that. 
And I'm just gonna give it another quick little blend to make sure that all the flour is mixed in. Now that it is all blended up and again, very battery looking, a little bit darker than the last since it does have some pumpkin and some cinnamon in it. I'm going to plug in the waffle iron. Now that the waffle iron is nice and hot again, and a little spritz of the olive oil. And just scoop it on there. Close it up and let it cook for another few minutes. Okay, now we can take out the protein pumpkin waffle. Look at that. So good, so yummy and crispy. Oof, can't wait to eat this one. Now this next one is going to be a cacao waffle. So in this bowl, I already have about half a cup of almond flour as well as some uh, tapioca flour, of course cacao, brown sugar, a little bit of salt, and a little bit of baking soda. You want to mix it all up so all the lumps and clumps are out of there and everything's well mixed. All right, <clears throat> let's pretty mix it up. No massive clumps. I'm going to take an egg and just crack the whole thing in there, as well as a splash of olive oil and a splash of almond milk or whatever non-dairy beverage you prefer. And mix that up. And if it's looking too thick when you're mixing it, then just add in a bit more of your non-dairy beverage. You wanna make sure it's all mixed so it's not grainy and lumpy. And pour it into the waffle iron. This smells and the little waffle is gonna taste like when you would have a little chocolate cake that you'd make in your easy bake oven, if any of you guys have that. I always made the little chocolate cake and we give a little bit of frosting and it was so good. It was just like pure chocolate powder, but in cake form. Like you didn't taste anything else besides just chocolate. And that's what this is like, especially if you do it in a little mini waffle maker, which it is exploding out of right now, then it's like an easy bake oven all over again. Let's get that chocolate gluten-free waffle out of there now. Oof, it's like a little brownie. That is stuck in there. Come on, little brownie. Oof, look at that. How is this not the best thing you've ever seen? Imagine with a little bit of powdered sugar on top, some strawberries. Some honey. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Gluten free and dairy free. Not chocolate free though. Mm -mm -mm. Last but not least, this final waffle is for all of you out there who are thinking, I see you making the waffles. I appreciate all these different waffles, but I, I'm not gonna be making all these waffles. I don't have time to make waffles. I just want the waffle. Waffle be done. So this is number five. I like the Birch Benders Paleo Waffle Mix. It's a pancake mix, but there's directions on the back of how to make the mix for waffles. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to cut those instructions down into a third of what it is because again, mini waffle maker. I also have four other waffles awaiting me. So just a third of this quarter cup of water, and some olive oil. On the back, they recommend coconut oil, but mine's just all hard right now, and I don't really want to deal with that. Mix it all together until a nice batter forms. And birch benders, well, I get the paleo one because that means that it's gluten and dairy free. They also just have regular pancake and waffle mix or just a gluten free one if you're fine with dairy. Um, but this is great for anybody who does have a gluten or dairy intolerance, or it's just 
paleo. And you want some pancakes in your life because the cavemen ate pancakes. And again, you want to make sure that it's not super grainy. You want to make sure that the water and oil is mixed in there well. And let it sit for a few minutes before you put it into the waffle iron. Once the waffle iron is heated, last little spritz of olive oil spray. And plop in the batter. All right, in the last time, open it up, pop them out, and there is just your Birch Benders Paleo Waffle. Super simple, just a basic waffle flavor, so it's perfect to add whatever you want on there. And of course, I like mine a little bit soft, but if you want yours a bit crispier, just leave it on your waffle iron for a few extra minutes. There you have it, here are my five final gluten-free, dairy-free waffle creations. The last one that we did, the Paleo Birch Renders waffle just from a mix, a nice cacao waffle, a pumpkin protein waffle, three big things all in one, a simple banana oat one, and a nice cinnamony sweet potato one. All of these are so good. You can also mix and match, like if you wanted to put a little bit of pumpkin with the sweet potato, go for it. If you wanted to do a chocolatey protein one and you have chocolate protein powder, you can do that and take out the pumpkin instead. So there are many ways to just switch these up, many ways to top them. You can do maple syrup, honey. I'm not a big like, supporter of agave, but if that's what you wanna do with your life, sure. Powdered sugar, fruit, ugh. So many options, or even your homemade nut butter. I have some almond butter that I made the other day that I might put on top of the chocolatey one to be like a gluten-free almond butter Reese's Pieces waffle. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which of these waffles is your favorite and what you want to see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.